the narrow adjustment I'm using a method that uh, I saw in this book and actually is a method that you can find on a lot of uh, blogs on the internet um, it's very easy and I use it uh, almost uh, every time um, here in this book is uh, treated like a major adjustment because I'm making more than uh, 1.3 cent centimeters under the size uh, 16 so to do that um, Let's see, I want to show you the back. The back I did already. This is how it's looking now. It's reduced by uh, two centimeters. And if I was to match it uh, here, the shoulder, here, you can see that I have here, this under uh, seam is much longer. So to make this adjustment, I need to have a few, uh, a few lines. I'm going to use a Sharpie. As I said, you can find this method in a lot of places, but I just want to show you how I'm doing it. Uh, and I'm doing this every time, so I can uh, truly say that it's a method that is working. I'm going to draw a line, in, in the, I'm going to uh, pick a point here in the middle of my shoulder seam. And this is the middle. And I'm going to draw a line that is uh, parallel with the, with the grain line. And I, this is my grain line and normally I did measure this before in the, uh, the starting the video because I wanted to be a little bit fast. So this will be my grain line. I will make it longer till uh, the shoulder and then I have a good uh, parallel uh, line that I need here for my adjustment. So this is my, uh, this is the first line that is coming from the middle of the shoulder seam. Doesn't need to be so long. It does need to, uh, and then I want to choose on the armhole a point, and that uh, the best is to choose it a little bit uh, before the notch here for the the notch in the armhole, and I'll just pick a point here somewhere, and then I need to draw another line that is perpendicular to my first line, something like this. The next step is to measure here the two centimeters that I want to take out. So let's say this is 10, I, uh, 11, I need to go to 9. And this is two centimeters. I'm going to zoom a little bit more in, something like this. And then I'm going to make another line that is parallel with the first line. Let's say that is somewhere Let's see, it's a little bit difficult because I cannot see really well. Otherwise I, I'm coming with my head in the screen. And if, in this uh, patterns from um, uh, Lisa and Cole is really nice because they have this one inch grid. So you can uh, choose a lot of uh, reference uh, points when making adjustments. So this, is, this needs to go out. I'm going to make my line a little bit longer here. And usually I don't care if I'm going to make the adjustment on this side or on this side, it doesn't matter. I'm going to cut now this line with my scissor, which to be honest, I, I have this scissor since 2008, I think, and uh, it's from Office Cars. And in my first years, I never knew that you must not cut paper with your uh, fabric. Uh, scissors so I used it for everything until I started to hear that and then I stopped cutting with it but to be honest it's still I'm still using it also for paper and also for fabric you know I think you can always choose for yourself but it's not like I'm killing anyone if he's going to uh, use it for paper okay so I cut it out on this line I could cut it also here and just move it but I'm, I cut it here so, and I'm going to put this line here against this one, the two centimeter line. And here I need to take care that this, this edge is per perfectly aligning with uh, this side here. And that everything is uh, kept straight and parallel with each other and perpendicular and everything you know. That we are that I'm aligning these lines that I'm uh, that I just made. So this I'm going to tape in place. Okay. 
My tape dispenser is does, it doesn't work really well. Okay, so I have this uh, tape in place. And of course, as you can see here, my uh, armhole is all uh, strange and here also my shoulder seam. And I only need to adjust that. And I'm going to use, I always use, I have this uh, colored paper um, a force and I'm using this. And to be honest, I prefer to tape this a little bit on the back side. And I need to cover a bit from the, let's see, from the shoulder, because here I need to make a little bit of adjustment to throw up my uh, edge and also here. So I'm going to put it a little bit like this to be sure that I'm catching both edges. This is such a, an important adjustment for me because if my garment is not hanging from my shoulders, it's really, uh, I think it doesn't matter how good I'm uh, sewing, it's really going to look, uh, to look bad. So let's see, this is what I have now. So I have here a small difference and here a little bit bigger difference. And to throw this up, I'm just going to, to start from, the, from this point of the of the this is going to be at the neck from this point of the shoulder seam I'm going to come to this point so from known points this one and this one and I am going to split this difference in two so I'm going to take a little bit off from here and add a little bit here it's just a small piece of extra tape and I'm using a sharpie now but usually I'm using um, a pencil that I can erase if I'm making a mistake. So as you can see, here is the change, not so big, but of course this edge needs to be straight in order to, uh, to sew it later. So I split this difference here in two and then I'm taking a little bit off from here, gaining a little bit here, but at the end I have these two points that are the same and I am going to trim that And I will get a nice straight edge. Here I don't need the paper. Let's see. I can take a little bit more. Okay. So this is how my shoulder seam is looking now. It's all straight and nice. And the next step is of course to throw up this one here. And to throw that, that up, I'm going to use the same method. So I have, let's see, I have here exactly two centimeters, of course, that I took here out. So I will put a point, a mark here, the one centimeter difference. And also here, I'm just going to, to split that in two. And I'm going to use a curve here to throw it a little bit up and to be honest here you need to play a little bit with your curve in order to get it uh, to get it nice and usually I'm using my pen and I think I'm happy with this with this line so let's see I'm just going to use the sharpie that you can see a little bit better so I'm starting from this known point here at the shoulder and I'm coming I try to blend here and if I was to measure this this original um, seam with this one they should be uh, pretty much the same so we can do that I always see that and or I was looking in the past at this kind of adjustment and I was thinking that is never going to, to fit the, the sleeve in, in this new armhole but it does let's see we I have here uh, 12.6 I'm measuring the old uh, seam the the old edge 12.6 and if I am to measure here from 12.6 yeah I have I had an armhole 27 let's see so the old one was 27 and what I have now, I have now the new edge. I'm going to measure the Sharpie uh, marking. 
just walking this is exactly 27 maybe like one millimeter but it's really uh, it's really nothing so split the the difference here split the difference here start from a known point try to blend it before you get here and then everything is going to be okay I'm just going to put my notch a little bit in the seam and then I can take this paper out I'm going to follow my sharpie edge and now my shoulder seam is uh, nice and uh, true and one more step I need to do now to be sure that my um, that my shoulder seams back and front are going to match when I'm going to sew these two together I'm going to check that out so I know that the seam allowance in this pattern is a half inch so I'm going to put here actually one inch and I know that if I'm coming with the back and I'm going to put this to the one inch let's see of course I need to meet my uh, stitching points or, uh, or the, the stitching lines to be here and the other one it will be here I think they are matching pretty well let's see to be sure I'm going to measure here also a half inch and let's see if we are coming well let's see I think the match is pretty well actually I can see that here this one is just just a tiny bit too long and now let's see now they are perfect so now I have this uh, done the next step is going to be to um, um, to take care of the side seams I, I decided that I want to take a little bit off from the side seam so I have it here pinned and to be honest I think it's getting more like a, like a straight uh, uh, side seam and not so much flared as the original pattern so I just pinned it on, uh, on my mannequin and then I tried it on and pinned a little bit more and uh, this I want to transfer on my pattern also and to do that is very easy actually I'm measuring a few points and then I'm putting here on my seam also on my side seams and this is what I'm, uh, what I'm following so for example I have here starting with the underarm I measure at uh, let's say 10 centimeters but I know I have half inch here more so uh, 11 and a half something like that uh, and I'm going to put a mark here I know that I'm starting to come in like one centimeter so I have here one centimeter I think it should be here and then so on here I know from the armhole or at the height of the pockets I'm measuring again how much I have and so on so after I have all my points here I'm just going to uh, to blend this a little bit in starting from nothing at the let's see somewhere here and I want to have a nice um, edge so no, I don't want to have a curve or something like that so I'm starting from nothing here let's see I'm going to use the sharpie and I know that I have here some markings and then blending to this one here let's see that's a little bit sharp I think I like it like this and this is how I want to have it this one I don't want so my line is going to be something like this 
because the most of the flare that I had, it was here at the hem, at the lower part of the of the coat. So this I want to 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 have out, and I measured here on my uh, on my pattern, and this is going to go out. So after this is done, I'm going to to cut this away, and then I can do the same for the front. The front I'm going to measure the same and then I'm going to put them together to see if they are uh, um, the seams are the same length and the same if the, if the same shape let's say and after this is done I also decided where I want to have my uh, my pocket and I'm going to have it here like so I just uh, Try a few times on my coat and I think I like it here also as a size is okay and I'm going to have a stitched uh, flap here somewhere something like this I need to decide also on the size and I think this is going to be uh, to be perfect and I think this is it this is what I had to uh, to change so here the side seam and the pocket uh, the flap I need to, to decide on the size I think I'm going to make it like uh, maybe four centimeters or something like that I think it's wide enough and uh, one more change that I decided to make on uh, my uh, coat it was the sleeve width I think it's, it's just a little bit too uh, too wide for, uh, for my paste oh and of course uh, the sleeve I need to take uh, the, a little bit from the length but from the width I just uh, make the changes in the in the upper sleeve and you can see here I hope you can see the this is the stitching line here and here I have a much more um, I just took in I just uh, took the seam out and just repin it and I took a little bit extra from the from the upper sleeve like uh, one and uh, extra one extra seam allowance I think and also on, on both seams actually, also on the other side, a little bit higher uh, on the arm, I also took a little bit extra seam allowance and this is what I'm going to, to change here also. I'm not going to make any changes for the undersleeve, I'm going to lay it like this, I just uh, want to take in a minute a few centimeters from the length. But from this one I am going to blend from here down let's see where I took the check I the most I took on the lower seam so on this one here so here I'm going to try to blend from nothing here all the way let's see I took that all the way to the hem the one extra seam allowance so that will be um, a half inch okay Let's see, I know I have a half inch, let's see, a half inch is here. Just going to follow this because this is just to, uh, let's see, I'm going to mark a few uh, one inch markings, but of course I need to come here a bit lesser to blend nothing and to do that I'm just going to use my let's see I don't want a really sharp um, curve here because this is not really uh, it's not really curved let's see but And I know that here I also want half inch lesser. Let's see, I have here another curve that no, this one is just too much. And I have somewhere another one. Uh, let's see. I 
think I like this. Okay, so I'm going to take this out. Let's keep the hem. I'm going to, to turn the hem like this. And then I can I just turn it like this to be screwed up at the at the edge and I'm going to cut this out. So this is what I took off from the sleeve and you can see because I had the hem turned now it's a little bit at an angle here and this is how it's supposed to be that when I'm sewing everything together it's going to fit nice. Uh, let's see so this is what I had on this uh, seam the under seam let's say and uh, or the lower seam and the, the higher seam here I had more at this point I wanted a little bit more so let's see I have just a tiny bit here at the, at the bicep. Let's see how much I took there out. I really don't like this red ruler because my fabric is red and it's really impossible to see something. Let's see, I have here two centimeters. So it's actually not more than uh, a half centimeter because my seam allowance was one, uh, no, one and a half. Seam allowance is a half inch. So that will make uh, seven millimeters that I have to take out. Uh, let's see, I'm going to measure that. And of course, also here I need to blend a little bit things. So this will be, this will be like seven. So this is what I need to have out. Here is a little bit. Uh, let's see, a little bit here and a little bit here and then I need to blend this back in the in the original seam. So I just want to start, let's see how I need to do that, I'm going to start and do another, another curve I think. Um, Sometimes it's just a little bit free hand stuff. This. Okay, let's see. Okay, I still need to go better with the, with the straight line. So these kind of things you really need to do by I don't know feeling the the, the lines and. Don't make any drastic lines in one time. Everything needs to be a little bit smooth and uh, because you don't want any sharp corners in your in your seams. So here I I'm not I don't think I'm going to go all the way down. Or actually I could just take a little sliver here more. Let's see where is my line? My line is here. So I'm just going to make it straight, okay? And I know, because I have this test garment, I know that even this is not looking like a lot, I know that this is going to give me the sleeve I want. So, and this is how my sleeve is looking now. As you can see here. Okay. So this is also done. I'm not going to take anything from the under sleeve out. And one more thing I need to change on the sleeve is uh, I just want to say that when I saw this um, this uh, sleeve in my armhole in the test garment, this is also something great when you make a test garment. Um, 
is that you see how much heat you have in your in your sleeve let's say for this example the sleeve as you can see it's, it's not so much it's very easy to ease in and i know that with a good wool it will be very easy to steam that uh, sleeve head so i'm going to turn this and let's see how much of a hem we have here so i just turn it when i uh, had it on and i have here nine centimeters so let's say nine nine centimeters and i know that my hem but i find this like is a very skinny hem it's just one inch i think it's really skinny so um, i am going to keep the hem let's see for three centimeters or maybe three and a half i think i like it more three and a half so i'm going to keep the hem three and a half or i'm going to change it because it's now only one inch so two and a half centimeters and this is my hem and you see that because i changed this now i also need to true up my seams or my uh, edges here when I'm going I will have to to turn it up like like uh, the final uh, hem and then I need to see if these edges are going to be nice and flush or they're going to meet each other let's say okay so this is what I have now this is my hem so my hem allowance is going to be three centi three and a half centimeters I think I like it more. Let's see, I just I think I made him mistake. So this is three and a half. This is hemline. Let's see, this is fabric cut line. This is uh, this is the hem. Hem 3.5 hem. 3.5 and it is a, this is the lining cut the line lining cut line okay and now I know that I need to throw this up and I'm just going to use my tracing wheel to make it easier to fold see how to fold it like this and as you can see here this here is not matching very well these small edges so there I'll have to add a little of paper and uh, cut it out again and as you can see here is even more let's see here and this is not going to to fold very well so to do that, I'm just going to show in on one piece. See? I enjoy it. I'm going to add a bit of paper. Doesn't need to be a lot. It does look like a lot of work, but it's really not. And I think it's really nice that if you do all these changes, you have, or I'll have a very nice fitting pattern and a very nice fitting uh, coat. And the fact that I'm taking now the time to make these changes, I know that sewing the coat is going to be really easy. I don't need to, wo to worry about, uh, about uh, fitting adjustments or about if it's going to fit me or not or stuff like that. So as you see, I just added a little bit of paper. Just turn it again on my hemline. And now I'm just going to cut along this, along the sleeve. I'm going to cut here also. Just following the original sleeve seam. I don't need to go so far. So now when I'm opening this up, you can see 
the bit of paper that I added here and here and this is now when I'm folding it it's very nice and my line is aligned here with the rest of the sleeve I can cut this a bit off as I don't need it so I'm going to repeat this for my other sleeve so this uh, hem uh, treatment but before uh, stopping the cam I just want to show you how I'm going to shorten the sleeve so of course I'm going to repeat the same for the other one for the for the under sleeve and I have now three and a half centimeters for the hem and I know that my uh, uh, my turned hem here it was nine centimeters so I need to take another five and a half centimeters out of my sleeve so where I'm going to do that well I'm not going to take five centimeters uh, and a half from this from this uh, side because then my sleeve is going to be very wide I like this width here I think so I'm going to take it I'm just going to make two lines uh, I think I also don't want to take in one place the complete width so I think I'm going to take here at this line it's just a uh, line that it was from taping the A4s together so here I'm going to take let's see this is uh, I'm going to take here three and a half let's say let's see how much is three and a half I'm, just, I'm getting so confused with inches and centimeters so here I have three and a half I'm going to take here out three and a half and I think I'm going to take another uh, let's say two centimeters here and two centimeters will be here let's see and that will make for that for those uh, five and a half so I have here 3.5 and here I have two centimeters that I need to take out okay and of course I'm going to take the same at a little bit the same uh, height also the ones on my uh, under sleeve and then uh, after that I'm going to after I take this out I'm going to throw up the the sides the these seams uh, exactly the same as I did with the hem so adding a little bit of paper and after that I'm going to walk my seams to see if they are still fitting at the at the stitching line following the curves of course and uh, then I know that my uh, pieces are, are going to, to fit so these are the changes that I'm going to make for my pattern pieces and uh, the next step is going to be uh, cutting uh, all the uh, cutting the fabric is already steamed uh, as I said in the um, in the dryer or is already uh, shrinked and uh, I'm going also to uh, cut the lining and uh, the interfacing <laughs> 